Good morning. As you know, my name is Cord Lohman, and I'm a senior at Stanton High School in Shenandoah Valley Governor's School this year, along with Nellie and Joe. Whether it be in Zoom or in person, we will get a diploma. Next year, I will be attending Virginia Tech, and I plan on majoring in environmental science. I have been extremely lucky to grow up in this great church. I would like to start by saying a thank you to the people who helped me build my faith in Sunday school. Mrs. Reed, Mrs. Whipple, Ms. Austin, and Mona. I can remember so many Sundays where we would learn about Jesus and then go to eat our snacks. Each and every one of you helped make me into the Christian I am today. I would also like to thank John Dahl for welcoming, welcoming me into the youth group and continuing to teach me the word of God. I would like to thank Sam Clem for stepping up as youth leader and taking us on two trips to Montreat, North Carolina. I would like to thank Jenna Smith, my leader from Spice, for being a mentor in my life and teaching me how I could spread the word of God to younger kids by planning the Massanetta Retreat at Massanetta Springs. I would like to thank Karen Allman for guiding me through a confirmation when she first arrived as our pastor. She has continued to show me how I can be a better Christian every Sunday. I would also like to thank the members of the congregation for showing endless support to me in everything I do. Finally, I would like to thank my parents for forcing me to continue to go to church whenever possible and instilling Christian values in me from day one. I have been extremely lucky to grow up in this great church with these amazing people. Thank you. Do you believe that your faith is helping you through this time? You think it would be harder if you hadn't grown up in the church, if you hadn't been around people of faith, if you hadn't developed some faith of your own, uh, do you think this would be more frightening, more difficult, or, or, or do you think there'd be any difference? Uh, quite honestly, I don't really think there'd be too much of a difference. Yeah, because I don't feel like. Because it's not. I'm not really focusing on that too much. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So you don't see where faith gives you confidence in general? I didn't say that. In general, <laughs> in general, definitely, yeah. It does give you confidence if you think about it longer. But. Just in this, it's like if I didn't have faith in God, I feel like I would still be like, okay, with just this yeah. specific like if scenario. If I didn't God, I'd still be okay with the pandemic. Well, okay is a relative term, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, this leads me down to another one, and that is, what is faith? What is faith to you? What do you think of when somebody says faith? What do you what do you think that means? There's no right or wrong answer. This yeah, is, what does uh, it mean to you? It, it's, like a, it, it's an easy question, but it's a hard question. It's really yeah. hard, actually. It's your belief in a, um, I don't know. Oh, yes, yes. Your belief in God and that everything's going to work out because of him. I feel like it's just like being like constant, constantly sure, you know. It's See, like not I, letting like outside factors affect how you feel about something. Although I wish we could be in person, I'm very grateful to be able to say a few words as I'm graduating high school. My name is Nellie and I'm a senior at Stanton High School in Shenandoah Valley Governor's School and I will be graduating in about a month. I'm super excited to be attending Elon University this fall. I'm unsure of my major at this time, but I've been really interested in music education and psychology. I've been so lucky to grow up in First Presbyterian Church. It has given me so many opportunities and friendships. Joe and Cord are two of my closest friends and have been since we were little growing up in Sunday school. I would like to thank Ms. Reed, Dr. D, Ms. Whipple, Ms. Mona, and Ms. Austin for teaching me about the word of God and being so caring and supportive to me at a young age. They were always smiling on Sunday morning, welcoming me with open arms and made me excited to come to church. Because of all of this, I became more confident in my faith and decided to start confirmation. I did things a little differently and I was confirmed and baptized when I was 14. Mr. Holmes was my mentor through this experience and I would like to thank him for that. He has always been supportive of me and has come to my school musical productions and have been a very positive presence in my life. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Through this time and further on, John Dahl then introduced a new side of faith that I found to be my favorite. I was able to spend summer after summer with him, Kitty Tillen, my mom, and several others at Massanetta and Montreat. Once I visited Massanetta as a middle schooler, I followed my brother and cousins to Spice, which is the Shenandoah Presbytery Youth Council Extraordinaire. 
In this unique group, I met one of my favorite people and mentors, Jenna Smith. She helped me grow in my faith and as an individual. She is not only the reason for me making so many strong and still standing friendships through, the, through faith, but she is a dear friend and role model, and I thank her for all of our coffee dates, talks about faith, and advice. Montreat was another place that I found very special to my heart. Last year, Sam Clem brought us to the youth conference. This was a summer I will never forget, much like any other. Montreat is a beautiful place in North Carolina in which I feel more connected to nature and God than any other place. Through all of this in the church, I found my sense of faith, which was found in nature and in having genuine bonds with the people around me. I thank Sam Clem for taking over the youth group and for giving all of us, but especially the seniors, Cord, Joe, and myself, for being able to have a great senior year in the church. Sam is always kind, supportive, and ready to listen for any kind of conversation. Thank you, Sam. Thank you also to my mom, dad, my brothers, and my Aunt Paige for helping me grow as a person and get through the years. Lastly, I would like to thank Pastor Karen for everything she has done for the youth and for the church. She has been wonderfully supportive and caring and has also come to our many apple butter parties, my school musical productions, and much more. Thank you for Pastor Karen by showing you care. My favorite thing though that Pastor Karen does is something I don't think I have mentioned to her before. Repeatedly at church, I hear her recite my favorite Bible verse. Many of you may know it. It's Psalm 19 verse 14, which is let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. This verse is incredibly close to my heart. I spend three weeks at a sleepaway summer camp each year. At this camp, there's a daily devotional in which we are taught the importance of God, the fruits of the spirit and kindness. This verse, along with another moral, is read at every devotion for us to carry throughout the day. So anytime Karen says it, it reminds me of that and makes me smile. The second moral that is read at camp is one that I want to end with, it is help, as it has helped me not only through the uncertainties of quarantine and COVID-19, but throughout my entire life. There is a story about a woman and a man who have their car stolen in the middle of the night. In the car are many of their cherished items like wedding photos, wallets, and some items that cannot be replaced. The wife gets extremely distraught and wallows as she does not know what to do. After days of having their car not returned, she becomes more and more defeated. After seeing his wife this way, he reminds her of an important message. Life is only 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react. Their car was stolen and he told her that they could either be completely defeated and sad or they could have a stolen car and be happy. Either way, they had a stolen car. There is so much power in our reaction, especially in a time like this. Throughout the uncertainty, fear, and confusion, I hope that you can all embrace your 90%. Thank you so much to everyone in the First Presbyterian community. What is God? <laughs> Was that the question, what is God? Um, a higher <laughs> power that is all-knowing and seeing, I suppose. Good morning. As high school ends, I find myself at a completely new chapter in my life. Growing up in this church gave me some incredible memories and has introduced me to some very important people. I remember helping Miss Betty set up for receptions after the service and as a reward getting to choose a piece or two of candy out of her big pink M&M jar. I remember frantically rushing around the kitchen trying to make sure food was ready for lunches and then escaping upstairs to play pool to avoid washing the dishes. I'm forever grateful for the group that has moved through the youth program together, especially going to Montreat my sophomore year. There are so many members of this church family that I would like to thank. However, I don't think that we have time for that. There are several people who I would like to call out personally because of the impact they had on my childhood and growth as a person. To begin with, Miss Betty. We all know Miss Betty, the kindest, hardest working, most selfless person any of us have ever met. Thank you, Ms. Betty, for always being someone to talk to, someone to answer questions, and for always being such a loving presence growing up. I would like to thank Ms. Austin for putting up with all of our nonsense during Sunday school and for teaching me about the Bible and life. Thank you to Ms. Mona for being kind and helpful and always being a calming presence when it was needed. Growing up in the First Presbyterian Church family was something that helped me become a better person. One of the largest leaps in my faith came through joining SPICE my freshman year. 
Um, it was through this group of young people where I learned most about my faith in God in general. Jenna Smith, or Mama Jenna, as we kids know her, is an incredible woman. She poured every piece of her into making sure that every time we met, we laughed, we learned, and we enjoyed fellowship with one another. Over the course of a calendar year, Spice would put on several gatherings to get people together and learn about Christianity. There would be a time for fun and games, but also time for mission. Jenna always found us a small project we could do to, that would help people. She has a way of making, but oh, sorry, of talking to people that makes you want to help the community as if it is contagious. More than one occasion, she had us making kits for the mission and her passion for it impressed me. She carried kits around in her car in case she always, in case she found someone in need. Another project she ran was simply writing encouraging messages and placing them downtown for people to find and brighten their day. Her mindset in making people's lives better is an inspiration to me and something I'm trying to replicate in my own life. I want to thank each and every one of you for your support in my growth at the church. Coming into 11 o'clock service and seeing the same faces of warmth uh, was calming as a child and I've grown to been and has grown to be a much needed constant. The next chapter of my life is going to be a whole new adventure. After graduation, I will attend Blue Ridge for two years before transferring to either JMU or VCU. I still do not know what I want to major in and what I want to do as a career. I have thought about going into culinary, environmental science, or architecture, but none of those are even close to being nailed down. The world is wide open and I'm excited to see what it holds for me. I don't want to do it again. <laughs>